students. I'm Heather Wilkinson, your child's kindergarten teacher this year. I've met probably most of you what, during Meet the Teacher, but for those of you who didn't meet me, I am Heather Wilkinson and I am super excited to be your child's teacher this year. Um, a little bit about me is I've been teaching at Country Lane. This is my third year here, um, but I've been teaching for 15 years. Wait, maybe it's 14. 14 or 15 years and um, most of that has been done in kindergarten because that's where my heart's at. I have three children. Um, my oldest is a junior this year and um, his name is Kyler and then our daughter Scotland is a freshman and then our youngest child Hayes is a fourth grader at CLI. My husband is also a teacher and a coach here at Broken Arrow. He is the head track coach at the high school and he also does adaptive PE. Um, uh, so that's a little bit about me. Um, I'm going to talk about, let's see, communication. So starting today, your child will be coming home with a B folder. It stands for bring everything every day. And in this folder, everything I'm going to tell you on this video, there's lots of main points. I put one of these in your child's folder so you can keep that at home for reference. And it tells you basically most of the stuff I'm telling you or trying to tell you. <laughs> Um, in this video. Um, this will be something that your child is, needs to be responsible for. Um, they need to get it out every day and show you the stuff that's in it and then put it back in their backpacks. So I know that's going to be difficult at first, but it's really important that they try to learn this independence and responsibility and you can remind them that they need to try to learn that this is their job. Um, in the front cover, there will be a place for um, our newsletter and in the calendar. There will also be, depending on your child, what your child's ready for, either sight word lists or, um, or letter sounds and letters that they need to be working on at home. It's just like a little bit every night, just like 10, 15 minutes to go over them. There will also be this optional calendar, like for homework with ideas you guys could do at home. Plus there's these. So anytime you work on letters or letter sounds or you read a story to your child or they read one to you, you can color in a candy corn. And once they get it all filled up, they can bring it to me at the end of the month and they will get a treasure out of the treasure box. Um, it'll also have a place in the very back that says, sorry, this is awkward, um, teacher parent communication. And this is just a little area that you can write notes to me, put the date, and then I can comment back or I might say something to you. If you ever send money or anything in this form, um, I would recommend getting one of those clear little zip up things to put in the front or the back um, to hold the money. But if not, get an envelope and make sure it's sealed or a Ziploc baggie. So that's a little bit about this. Um, many of you who have already joined our Remind app. And if you haven't, I have a slideshow that I'm gonna email you guys and you can um, log on to be part of that. I'm also going to do a Facebook classroom page that I'm sending home in your child's folder for permission for you to let me allow, allow me to use your child's um, picture and put them on the news, the Facebook page. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. <laughs> um, our schedule, I'm emailing you that. Birthdays, we will celebrate birthdays here during snack time. We ask that you please do not send cake. Um, if you can, like send like individual cookies or donuts, cupcakes are okay. Um, and if you have birthday invitations, I will gladly send one home as long as there's one for everyone in the class or if it's like an all boy party, all the boys or all the girls. So we don't have any food allergies or anything this year. So that's something that's positive and not. Um, behavior. In my classroom, I use, I use, um, love and logic. So basically I just let consequences be like logical consequences. Um, I don't do like a red light, yellow light, green light chart. I just use the uh, mistakes as learning and we talk about it. There'll be a consequence. Like maybe your child um, has to like spend some time reflecting before they go to free choice or maybe they have to you know come talk to me for a little while or something. Um, but there's always just like a natural consequence. Um, and there's more on that in my video, in my um, slide show that I'm sending to you. 
Conference signups are coming up soon. October 13th is the first one. So this week I'm going to be emailing you a sign up genius um, to sign up for conference times. And you'll see some more about that in your child's folder. Um, just a reminder about our health policy. This year, um, students must be fever free for 72 hours before returning to school. And 42 hours of that fever free needs to be without medicine. So like no Tylenol or anything like that for it to count to be a fever free weekend or hours, I mean. Um, as you may have heard, breakfast and lunch right now are free um, until the funds run out, which is projected to be around December. Um, but so students can come in the morning if they need to eat breakfast. The doors open at 8.45 and um, they can eat breakfast from 8.45 to 9.10 um, in, the, in the morning. Also, um, at, due to COVID, we are not allowed to have parents or guests come for lunch to, with their child right now. So um, it'll just be students. Um, and if you ever need to see the lunch menus, they can be found on the BA website under parents. Um, snacks, we do snacks every day at three o'clock. I ask everyone to bring enough snacks for 22 and the students individually wrapped and um, store bought items. And they just do this once a month. You bring it at the, the first of the month if you can. If not, you can bring it at the end of the month just as long as we have enough snacks and options for these kids to choose something. The reason I do not do an assigned day is for many reasons. One of them is if a student's absent on their snack day and we don't have enough snacks left over, um, that kind of puts us in a bad spot. And also if someone forgets, it's not like that big of a deal because we have plenty of options. And thirdly, kids like to have choice in what they eat and some kids don't like certain foods or can't have certain things. So it just gives them more of a choice. And it's, it's worked out really great since I started doing that. So be sure to send in snacks once a month. Um, also water bottles. Water bottles are very important this year um, due to the fact that we can't use our water fountains. So please remember to send your child with a water bottle. Um, no juice in it, just water. They can have juice or something like that during their lunch, in their lunch box. But in the classroom, it has to be water. And um, a good idea would be to leave one here, Mondays through Fridays. And then, I mean, Monday and then on Friday, I will send it home. And they could just dump it out and refill it here just to have one just in case you forget. That's just an option. And um, that's about all. Um, our curriculum, we use um, Making Meaning for our reading and vocabulary. We use Origo Math for our math curriculum. Hyperdy Phonics and phonemic awareness. And then they'll be doing guided reading with me as well this year. And I will use Scholastic Bookroom books for the guided reading. Um, if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me via email or um, our Remind app or whatever is best for you. And I'm looking forward to a fabulous year and I'm super excited to be your child's teacher this year. Thank you.